In the beginning, God, a timeless, immaterial, all-powerful, all-loving being, a God who hung the stars and breathed the molten fire of the sun. He is all-knowing, all-present and all-powerful, which begs the question, if God knows the end from the beginning, is there free will? Why set in motion this vortex of chaos, knowing that the end would result in eternal death for billions, in essence making their existence redundant? Our perception of time is fixed to a linear dimension. We are in a perpetual state of flux between the past and the future. But God, God is eternal and ever-present. He is beyond time. His nature allows him to simultaneously be in every moment of time. And part of this reality is due to the fact he created it. By design, he was outside of it before its inception. All of this points to a God who knows the beginning from the end of everything. So is this knowledge contradictory to the concept of free will? Does knowing the end constrain the choice of the being whose end is known? Some have postulated that God does know everything, to the extent of knowing every possible choice and outcome, but he does not know which of these choices will be made by a created being of free will. On some level, this is a comfort blanket to the proponents of this theory, because it momentarily takes back the idea of free will. But if this theory were true, God is not all-knowing, and therefore not God. This is one theory among many that on one hand seek to explain the paradox, but as a consequence diminish the power of God, and therein lies the crux. How do we make sense of the tension between free will and omniscience? I believe the answer is in the present. Let's step back. We've established that God is beyond our linear timeline. This is important to at least acknowledge, even if, like me, you can't comprehend it. God's presence is beyond the timeline of our existence in that he can move in and out of any moment in any point in time. However, this does not impact the individual moments of our linear timeline. At the beginning of time, God had the knowledge of every single moment, including the one where you are currently watching this film. But if you had chosen to do something else, like bake a cake or harvest honey from a beehive, then the knowledge that God possessed at the beginning of time would be different. God's foreknowledge is dependent on the present. Whatever happens in the present on our linear timeline is exactly what God knew would happen, primarily because it happened in the present. Can you see the puzzle fitting together? The enacting of your free will dictates the knowledge that God possesses before it even happens. This is one simple idea, but one that might set someone free today choice to be in a relationship with God, which consequently will result in your restoration and healing and atonement back to him when he returns, will only be a reality because you chose it. Did God know that you would choose it from the beginning of time? Yes, but only because in the present moment you chose it. This is the fundamental idea of free will, that at the end of sin, when every knee will bow before God, it will be an acknowledgement that we all chose our future with our own free will on our own accord. You either chose to be closer to God and be in relationship with Him and then restored back to life, or you chose to turn away from Him. In turning away from the giver of life, you turn away from life itself. And no one will be able to argue otherwise. This is free will. Because God's knowledge of the entire spectrum of human history is dependent on the present.